Hello, my crustaceans. It's uh, Kristen and bringing you to what was that English? Today, I'm bringing you my Sephora VIB sale fail. So, um, many of you might know twice a year Sephora has a sale where if you're Rouge, you get 20% off. If you're the second tier, I'm not sure, I forget what it's called, always. And then if you just did Insider, which is for everybody, you don't have to spend a certain amount of money, you just have to make an account, you get 10% off. I am the just the Insider. I have not spent enough money at Sephora to qualify for the higher tiers. Uh, one year I was the uh, second tier, but I buy a lot of drugstore, I buy, buy a lot of indie brands, but so I had planned out what I was going to spend. I um, budgeted for it. I was going to spend probably about, you know, with taxes and everything, but around $225. So not a huge haul. You know, a lot of people spend hundreds and hundreds, but that was my plan. And that's what I budgeted for. And the day comes when it's my turn or, you know, everybody's turn. Um, and the things I wanted to buy were either sold out or you could only buy in store. And I don't have a Sephora near me. The nearest Sephora is like three, three and a half hours away. And I was not going to do that. So I ended up only ordering one thing from my wish list. It was $23. With the discount, it was $20 and some change. But I also had a gift card for $20. So I actually only ended up spending out of pocket like $1.75, I think. So, show you what I got from my failed Sephora haul. We have our little samples. Um, I got a facial serum from Youth to the People um, and a CEO Sunday Riley Brightening Serum. I am, I know I didn't pick this one. I might have picked this one. Um, I, and I, I think this has happened to quite a few other people. You don't get what you pick for your free samples a lot of the time or. With me, I'd say it's more than half the time, which, I mean, they're free samples. You can't be too mad. So, fail slip. And then you get points as well if you spend a certain amount. You know, if you spend $100, you get 100 points. And I cashed in 100 points for this Halo Ho... Halo Ho... Honey Halo Pharmacy Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. Just a little tiny dude. Um, I've tried this before. I had the full size that I think I got from FabFitFun, and I really enjoyed it. I don't necessarily need moisturizers, but I had the points, so I was like, what the heck. So the one thing I bought was this little set from Glossier. Those look so tidy. I didn't realize they were so small. It's uh, two of their cloud paints. It's in the shades Puff and Rise. These have been viral for years. People have loved them. And so I wanted to try them and, you know, get two minis. It was $23. I think for one full size, it's around 20, 22 maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's bust in here. There's a couple of other things that I'm on my wish list that were still available, but um, I was just kind of like, eh, you know, not, I hadn't necessarily planned on getting those. And so I was like, you yeah, know, there's other things I could buy. Oh, safety seal, that's nice. I don't, do I want to, uh, this might be a long video, so we're not going to swatch them. If there's time at the end, maybe I will. But so, right, this is puff, so a corally light pinky shade. This is rise, this is kind of a almost brown burgundy shade. So I'm not sure about that one, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Maybe you can play and make your own um, color. So this is what I got basically for $1.75 because of that gift card. So not bad, but does it end there? No, of course not. So, you know, girl math, 
I only spent like a dollar and change. Let's say two dollars. I plan to spend two hundred and what do you saw? So basically, I have a free two hundred and some dollars just spending whatever I want. So I bought some other things on my makeup wish list. Not necessarily for Sephora. So I have four other packages here. First up, we have from Fantasy Cosmetica. This is their, by the time you see this, they might have released their was it, Hidden Library collection. Um, but the one before, it's a Warlock, I think. Thank you for your purchase. We hope you love it. We love to hear your feedback and reviews via our website, Instagram, or email. So it's just that card that's really nice. I really love their aesthetics. I'm not a gamer girl, um, but I really like the whole fantasy vibe that they give off. I have all their other palettes except for the fighter. It's a little neutral. It's I, I've been kind of wavering on that one because it's still very a pretty neutral that I think I would still like. I might not use it a whole bunch. So, but this one is gorgeous. They redid their packaging. So it's got this like stained glass look and I love that. I almost want to like buy the old palettes again just to get that new packaging. I won't though. I'm more uh, slightly more responsible than that. So this is a beautiful like green, purple, pink dream right there. I really like that. Sorry if you can hear like some talk and stuff my husband and our friend Eric are hanging out upstairs and sometimes they can be very loud. They're very both very soft-spoken guys but for some reason when they get together and they get out of subject they can be loud so. So yeah this is gorgeous. I was gonna wait till Black Friday but they were having like a Halloween deal. I want to say like 25% off. Don't quote me. I don't remember what I paid. I don't know if there's a the slip will say but they do have uh, Black Friday deals coming up no it doesn't say what I paid and I don't remember off the top of my head but I did get a discount I buy almost everything on discount I am one of those girls yeah, I like to save money so that was on my wish list so I got something off my wish list that wasn't necessarily Sephora wish list all right, I'm happy to have that. And next up, let's do Winkle Leary. And I never know if I say that correctly. This is a, another indie brand. Um, I've purchased some eyeshadows from them before, just singles. And they were also, I think, having a Halloween sale. So this time I just got a lip gloss and a highlighter. And I want to say... I spent less than, I want to say it was like around 17-ish dollars. Yes. Um, the lip gloss was 9 the highlighter was 10 and then shipping was $6, and then there was a another Halloween deal going on, so I paid $15.49 for that. Nice little thank you card. Got a little rustled up. But they came out with these lip glosses a little while ago, and I really like this one, and I kind of was on my, my wish list again, so it's a really pretty purple. Actually, I wish I hadn't put a uh, lip gloss on already to match my, my look. It isn't just Jire Cat. It's very pretty. I'm excited to have that. And then the highlighter. They wrapped it up very nicely. So that's what it looks like. Do a little swatch. Feels like, oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Love it. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> so that was my uh, little order from Winkle Winklery. I don't know if I say it right <laughs> to be honest. So so happy about that. Next up, let's do another indie brand. I have Hell Bite Beauty here. Once again, Halloween code. I'm not sure how much I pay. I want to say, I think this palette was originally $45. I saved like $15-ish with uh, whatever discount code. And then I uh, had to pay shipping. So I want to say it was around $38 after everything was said and done. Less than $40. So a couple bucks less than $40, I think. But... This brand has kind of been on my radar for a while, but nothing quite caught my eye. It wasn't really my color story. They do tend to do more like darker color stories and I like a more, a bigger range. Really dark, really light um, and in itself, just not what I'm looking for generally. So, but they have this Cottage Witch palette and look at all that, that's gorgeous. Let's see if I can open it up without, yeah. So it is kind of big. That's probably, even though the packaging is gorgeous, it is a little on the big side, a little cumbersome, um, but it's gorgeous. So how does it, okay, so the whole thing like comes off. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize there was a mirror. I just went like that. Um, so the whole, the whole thing just comes off. It's like magnetic. I don't have a lot of palettes that do that. Like, I think the f flower print, is that what it is? I feel like that's wrong. The um, palette from Kaleidos. Floral Park? Oh, jeez. So, this is the color story. It's a very pretty, like, I mean, it is kind of a rainbow palette that's, but it's got. It's got like those white and gray. It's got more tealy colors. You got some neutrals in there. I think you can do a lot. There's not a ton of mattes. So let's see. Uh, six, 12, 24. So there's 30 shades. One, two, three, four, five uh, shimmers. So. Let's watch Evil Eye. That's that bottom middle one right there. Oh no. What am I doing? Right there. And let's do a Blessing, which is that one. It almost felt like, or it looked like it could be a pressed glitter, but they're not. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Very shifty, and you can oh wow, you can really see the shifts on camera, which is not uh, always possible. Let's swatch a couple mats just to kind of see. I'm gonna do Witching Hour right here. That's nice. Let's do Magic that orange. And we'll do Lovecraft. It's that like reddish orange right there. They were very soft. The, which one was, did I do? Witching Hour was, didn't come, quite come up as pigmented, but I wouldn't again, you can build it up, so I don't mind that. Wow. I'm so excited. How exciting. Okay. So that was the Cottage Witch palette. Uh, let's see. Am I trying to get it on so it stays? Maybe it isn't magnetic. I thought it, it felt like it was. Maybe I'm just not putting it on the right. Oh well. So. Yeah, it's not staying on, so I don't know if that was me or, because I swore it felt like it was magnetic, but, but 
yeah so maybe not the biggest fan of like the packaging just how kind of inconvenient it can be but it's really pretty so i'll i'll, I'll allow it <laughs> All right, we got one more package. This is from Profusion Cosmetics. Once again, they were having a sale, and I spent just over $35 on everything. It was like $35 for free shipping, so I was like, you know, girl math, like just spend a little bit more, you know, to pay for shipping, you get more stuff, and you spend the same amount, so just gonna wipe off these swatches so I don't get them everywhere. I have a few things from Profusion, um, not like my favorite brand ever, but it's what, kind of one of those where they have such cute stuff that sometimes you, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, kind of allow for a little less quality because of the packaging and the fun and the cuteness factor. First up, we got this little, oh, it's Casper. And I probably won't use these. I'll probably just keep them. Can't see the, yeah. So there's a little face on the bottom one too. But it's a tape shut. So we're already at 60 minutes. So yeah, I just, I was like, they're cute. I got a good deal. So I'll probably put them up somewhere. And then we got a brush set. Thank you for your purchase. I don't feel like I bought this. I think this is maybe uh, hmm. yeah, this must be like a free gift because I don't I did buy a brush, but I don't remember buying a brush set and I don't see it on here. So the brush I bought was, I just saw it, a uh, foundation brush. I don't have a ton of them, so, and it was pretty cheap, so I thought I'd give it a shot, see how I liked it. What I usually do with foundation, depending on the foundation, I will like buff it on spread it out kind of with a brush and then blend it all in with a uh, sponge. So I have found that there are some that, some foundations that don't do well with that. Um, you, I just have to play with it. Like the one I'm wearing today, I did that, um, my usual technique and it didn't turn out as great. And then I tried just a sponge and it turned out really good. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of, I wish it was a little bit denser for a foundation brush, but it feels really nice. I might even use it for like a blush brush or even a, not contour, but that other thing, Brown, bronzing brush. So, okay. And then I got a juicy lip tint. Try that out. I'm just going to bust this box open. Good grief. Okay. So I don't want to put it on my lips because I have stuff on my lips already. Let's see if it leaves a tint on my skin though. Hmm? Not, not really on like my hand. Like gives a nice shine. Smells nice. Smells fruity. Uh, next up, I got this Feel Good Skin Foundation in light one. I've heard really good things about this. People really like it. Oh, warm yellow. Oh, I didn't notice that. Hopefully it doesn't turn too yellow. Usually I'm like a pink undertone, but I've heard good things. So I wanted to try that. And then one of these blushes. This is in the color Paloma. I do not have a lot of colors like this because it's very red, which, you know, I'm already very red. But I wanted to give this a try and also maybe get a color that I don't have a ton of, so. And 
you know, just because I think a red blush wouldn't look good on me, it might actually. And I've tried things, I was like, I don't think this is going to look good. It ended up really loving how it looked on me. So I thought this was a good time to give it a chance. Plus, I've heard good things about this formula. So I wanted to try it anyway. That's what it looks like it is. It is red. It does blend out nicely. Okay. We will give it a shot one of these days. All right. I think I just got... No. Okay. Three more things. So I got this tiny little palette. Sorry for the noise. little matcha milk tea palette. I don't like matcha. I don't like milk tea. I, don't, I like, I don't like regular boba. I like the like exploding fruit boba. But yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a tea girl. I'm not a milk tea, not a matcha girl. But I thought this looked really cute, so. green with a little bit of neutral thrown in and then these next two things I almost bought when this Casper display was at Walmart but I skipped it and then I regretted it because the time I went back um, it was gone but it's the two highlighters from the Casper collection. And I think originally these were like five or six dollars each. And then with the sale, I think it was like 30% off or something. Okay, what? What's going on? I can't get to it. It's like. What the heck? Like, see? I can't get it off. Oh no. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. That was weird. That's okay. Sorry, it's so holographic. That's what it looks like on the finger. Oh, it's really pretty. Got a little shift to it. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, let's see if we can get this other one open or if it's going to be. I thought there was like some kind of weird. I thought I had like broke the compact and like part of the top had been left on or something. Oh, come on. Almost had you. All right. So this is the other one. So the. The first one is called Fabulous, and this is Ghosting You. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh, I'm not doing very good justice to it. All right, that's what it looks like on the finger. I don't think I showed that. So it's underneath. There we go. Yeah. Very pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. And then it looks like we got like a free gift, like the the brush set, because I it's not on the thing and I probably wouldn't buy a brush set because I have tons of brushes. Sometimes I'll buy like a certain type of brush that I don't have a ton of, like another foundation brush, but usually I don't go for brush sets. So that was really nice that I got a free little gift. So what did I spend? like 35, what another 40, 75, let's say 90. I don't remember what Fantasy Cosmetic Club was. Probably, we'll go with like 35. Yeah, so I spent, I still spent less money than what I budgeted for, 
So girl math, I still have like another 75, 50 bucks or whatever that I can spend on stuff because I didn't spend it at Sephora, right? That's how it works. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and please comment down below, like, subscribe, send your friends over. Let me know if you got any cool deals for Halloween or for the Sephora um, sale. I, I love to see what you guys get, what you guys like and you know because i need more ideas i clearly don't have enough makeup so let me know what i should get all right guys thank you so much for sharing your time with me and i will see you all later bye